that people Very like positive. Them. Good. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple people on there killing like there was about anybody, right? So, a, but overall, it was a positive for him. Very good. Good. He's people an thought the dog thing like you did. You know, he's an interesting kid. Is uh, I don't really know him. I, I I don't remember him from the contest at all. Like, if you asked me to name the five guys from the contest, you know, for some reason I remember Patrick Creighton the most. I don't know why. And he never won. And he never won. I think that's why, because he was in it a bunch, a bunch of times. And then we met him at the Super Bowl. Right, it still worked out for him. And he had a show. So that's what that stuck in my head, because, we, you know, he was working in Houston or San Antonio or wherever it was, somewhere in Texas. So um, Yeah, well, that makes sense, because you, you, you dealt with him the most. He yeah, was in the finals three he times. He was in a lot. So that's why I remember him. Um, but J- uh, Jastrzemski reminds me of a young dog. He really does because he's kind of the same way. He's kind of quirky and it's just him being him. You know, you can kind of see it that he's just got a lot of that real, you know, bubbly. Like, here's a perfect example. He talked in here with me for what, an hour, 45 minutes? He, An hour and a half later, he was standing in the newsroom. He was still talking to people. He hadn't left. He was still up talking in the newsroom. He was out there still talking. So he's like one of those guys. He just never stops. He's just talking all the time. No, he's, he's nonstop. Yeah, he's a, he's a character. It's what it is. So, you know, he's got to build that up. You, I could see him in the right. He's got to be in the right two-man show, though. He's got it, there's a there's a right show for him in the two man show. It's got it, it's it, not every two man show will work with him. There's it's got to be the right two man show because you got to know how to use him. You got you got to know how to play off that stuff. That but he's a character. He really is. And you know it's funny. I didn't I, you know he doesn't seem like the type to go to Syracuse. You know what I mean? There's guys that you expect to go to. He seems like a little different type to go to Syracuse because so many of the guys have gone to Syracuse from you know Costas to Ian to all the way down the line. Uh, so, you know, he seems a little different that he would. I wouldn't have thought of him in that. In he seemed a little more of the self-made mode rather than the you know Newhouse school kind of thing. So uh, that that surprised me a little bit. So, so uh, but yeah, he's a character. He really is. I, I got a kick out of him. Uh, CJ in Oceanside, what's up, CJ? Hey, Mike. Um, for a very long time, I was super against trading Degrom as a Met fan after what he did in 2015. After this week, I've kind of warmed up to the idea. And I know the Yankees are, would be very much against trading Glabar. So they won't, they about, will not do it. So what about it, – it's got to start with Andujar, I think. If it's not Glabar, it's got to start with Andujar. Frazier and, and Andujar. Frazier, Andujar, and Floreal for the Grom. I want one more. If you're the Mets? I want, yeah, I want four. Well, who's your fourth? I mean, if you're... If I you're, don't know who my fourth is. I'll take those three, but I want a fourth. I want to try I mean, to go... I, I definitely see, here's don't why. You see, I'm going to go in in the beginning. See, here's how I would negotiate if I were... And, and, and listen, okay. I went and asked this question because I thought no chance. And I went and asked the question. I was in a position to ask the question, so I said, you know, let me ask some. And we were having a discussion. Uh, and, I, and And so I said... Could this happen, or is it just not a, as a non-starter because of the relationship? And there's strains in the relationship at times. And they said, no, it's not. It, it, could, it could happen. It's not likely, but it could happen. I think well, the, the, well, the, Mike, the worry is that team, one team beats the other team badly. That's the see the the worry is that one team beats the other team badly right, in the trade. Are you with me that if it's not Glabar, it's got to start with Andujar? No, I, I don't, I, that that's I, I'm. Here's how I want to play it. If I'm the Mets. And I decide I'm going to make this trade. My first day, I spend it all on Torres. It's, I'm not getting off right, him. Right. And then when I get off him, I make them overpay so much to get off him. That's where I get my fourth guy from. And then I want Andrew Hoff, Frazier, absolutely, to start the trade. And then I want two other players that I really can live with. And I think they could. And, you know, the, the Yankees, you know, Romine wouldn't be a bad pickup. Now, Mezzarocco's played okay. So you might think he can get by with them, but I think Romine would be a good positive for the Mets too. But I think right now the Yankees wouldn't do that to the offseason. Mark in Albany, what's up, Mark? Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good, what's happening? Uh, yeah, I'm a Mets fan, and the Mets fans really need to direct your anger someplace else. Um, Mickey Calloway knows how to manage. When he's sitting on a bench with Cleveland while he's a dummy all of a sudden because he comes to New York, he knows how to manage. Um, Sandy Olerson has got. A I disagree from this standpoint. He's a pitching coach, and he's not a manager. 
and I haven't been Come impressed on. with his managing yet. Now, I'm not saying he can't grow into a manager, but not every pitching coach is a good manager. I can think of some really good pitching coaches who were lousy managers. But, Mike, I mean, you can go in there and manage uh, just as good as these guys. Listen, can. I, all, I haven't been – I, I just think he's been very un- – listen, I think a lot of people could, but I, I just think he's been very unorthodox. Plus, I didn't like his take – Here's what I don't like. He's been inconsistent. He started off with the idea that I'm going to be very much the 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 players' buddies and I'm going to love them. Next thing, it's about their focus and they don't they're not they're not putting their time in their drills and this and that. So, I think you got to be consistent. Number one, and I just haven't liked how he's managed the game. I have no problem with how he's. I should say no problem, but I think he's been a little strange in how he's handled the pitching staff. And I you know think I, I, I think his I think his moves in game have been very weird. You know, it's going to come down to like they have to trade Degrom. This is the most value he's going to have in two more years when he's a free agent. He's going to want twenty million a year. The Mets aren't going to pay him now. I am to, do to it. agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, but they're not going to turn this around this year. They're not going to turn it around. Period. I agree with the you. Only time, the only time they're going to turn this around, Mike, this is what upsets me about Mets fans. They're just, they're focusing their anger someplace else. It's an old story, old thing, but the Wilpons have to sell this team. A lot happening. of owners, they don't, they don't care. I, it's not going to happen. A lot of owners don't care about winning. It's all about money. And obviously, these guys don't care about winning. We're in New York. It's the biggest market in the country. And we have the Yankees over here kicking everybody's butt. And we're, we're doing nothing. Until they sell this team, the Mets you are see, never going to I think you're off base from this standpoint. Didn't the Mets just go to playoffs and go to World Series in two years? Yeah, Mike, go to Kansas City. Look at them now. It's a completely Kansas different Kansas City didn't do – Kansas City lost for 30 straight years before that. The Mets didn't. They lost for 30 straight years. The Mike, Ma- I get Ma- it, but this is not the same Mets team, Mike. This is not the same Mets Yeah, team. but the Mets – listen, the Mets have screwed up because a lot of what they had a couple of years ago broke. Harvey going down killed this team. It killed it. It changed the entire fiber of what they were. Harvey going down for the second time destroyed what they were. It basically changed who they were completely. It completely changed who they were because they no longer had that power in the rotation. Adam, Staten Island, what's up, Adam? Hey, Mike. Well, i got to make two quick Met points. Yeah, uh, first of all, I, I can't put this on Cavalry completely. No, it's you not know, on I, one person. Often, it's not on one know, person. No, but and you you know you always allude to the fact that the managers you know they play very little into Agreed. how many wins and losses and and, and I'm not I'm not I'm not comparing managers but if you if you switched managers in both New York teams they'd probably have roughly the same record right now so uh, I mean I'm not going to say that uh, Boone is the greatest manager ever is just as much as I'm not going to say Callaway has been terrible I, I think it really has to do with staff and I, the one guy who I feel like has been consistently a bum, and I know like his numbers at times might not say this, but when you see a player play every day, you can tell what kind of player he is, and that's familiar. The guy has never pitched big when the game counts, whether it's in the playoffs, the World Series, or just a big moment. And the guy is always walking on the wire, even when it, with all those saves. See, I don't think familiar. Year, I, I, see, I disagree. I think familiar. I understand familiar didn't get the job done in the postseason for you, but I don't think familiar getting a hundred saves in two years is the guy who's going to kill here. I don't think that was. I don't think he's the problem on. This but when game. you look at those saves, Mike, it's always it's always the holding your breath every single time. I don't think he's the. Oh, problem. I know. I know. No one's going to be Mariano, but this guy. I is, think the problem. I mean, nobody's going to be Mariano, but and and but I think and and over the long haul. There are a lot of guys who have failed in, in the postseason, but to me, that's not the that, that's not. He's down on the list on this team. The biggest problem on this team right now is, is offense. Their offense is. I mean, they got guys who haven't done anything this year. Bruce Conforto, Frazier, Cespedes, injuries, non injuries. Those guys have done nothing this year. Absolutely nothing. They have no numbers. Conforto's been terrible. Bruce has been awful. You can't be Bruce and not have a home run at City Field in June. How many at bats has he gone at City Field this year without a home run, Bruce? This guy had 36 home runs last year and had 101 RBIs. How many home runs did he? So I don't know if this includes today, but 97. He's up 100 times without a homer. How is that possible at City Field? This year's slugger. Conforto this year, how many home runs at City Field? And how many at bats? 97 at bats for Bruce, no homers. How many at bats for Conforto? 
75, and two home runs. 75, two homers. I, uh, Frazier. City Field, the bats, home runs. Fifty nine at bats, three home runs. All right, it's not terrible. Two seventy one at home. Um, who else would I put in that lump in there? Cabrera has been pretty balanced. Um, Nimmo's home is where? How many at home? How many on the road? Uh, Nimmo is five homers at home. Okay, so he's hit him at home. So the, the real key is this. Your two left-handed sluggers, Bruce and Conforto, who are your two middle-of-the-lineup hitters, they're your three and your five hitters on this team. Those two guys have had a combined 180 at-bats, and they have two home runs at home. 180 at-bats, two home runs from your three and five hitters. That can't happen. That's no power. Then you have Cespedes out for a month on top of that, and Frazier out for as long as he was out. So that's your three, four, five, six hitters, and they've done absolutely nothing this year and nothing at home. I mean, that's a, so how are you supposed to win? You wonder why you lose games at home? You can't hit a home run at home. Five o'clock, here's Joey.